Well, Hal here with more 7 Days to Die Valmod, and we are once again on the community server, doing some, well, just miscellaneous stuff. So, uh, yeah, one of us to do today is we're going to be doing a little bit of work on our horde base, but first we have to get started, so let's go. Oh, right. So what we're going to be doing today is first off, I wanted to show you our floating horde base for those who have not seen this during the live stream. Uh, there will be a video coming out probably today. It may have come out before this one or it'll come out after. I'm not sure which, but it, it should be out later today uh, showing basically how we built the uh, the floating platform aspect. As you can see, this is completely floating. Um, and it is far enough up that it should be able to survive exploding cops and such without a whole lot of problem. Now, one of the things that we did do is we actually have this handy dandy little way of getting up and down. Uh, this is our accelerated drop all the way down to bedrock. Let us not step in there. And this one is the one that takes us to the top of the elevator, which actually takes us under the uh, word base. So what we'll be able to do is we'll actually be able to loot the corpses and things from down here in relatively relative safety. Uh, we'll see if this is going to be enough, but I'm planning on upgrading all of this to metal and eventually stainless. But we just haven't gotten quite to that point yet, but uh, hopefully we'll have it done before day 77. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Uh, but for now, there's a couple of things I want to do today. One of the first things we're going to do, and as you can see, we've got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here. Uh, one of the first things we want to do is we want to put the drawbridge in. And we're going to put that, hopefully, careful, we don't want, we don't want to drop ourselves over there accidentally. Alright, so... I have to say, I really hate placing things in this game now. Okay, so that would go that way. So it's only four blocks wide. I thought I made that five blocks. Well, crap. Well, we could place it like that, but I have a feeling it would fall. And I don't want to deal with that. So if we take it up a level... So we could put... Not there. So, uh, yeah, basically what we're going to have to do is... Do I have any frames with me? No, I don't. Okay. So I'm going to have to go grab some more frames. I've got some more iron bars cooking. And we're going to fill the, the rest of these open spaces in so we don't fall down while we're working on this thing. Oh, so let me go ahead and do a quick cut, and we will be right back. And we're back. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and made some of these wonderful wet concrete stairs and we picked up a couple of rebar frames for the ramps because I'm not sure which way I want to go with this. I'm going to try doing the stairs first and see if that works. Uh, but I'm not sure. I have a feeling that this may not support the weight of the drawbridge, but we'll find out here in a moment. This is the bottom of that area that I was talking about. <laughs> and as you can see, Shades has gone ahead and put in an elevator for us. Works amazingly well. Now what I will probably do is this little area here kind of scares me. Uh, so I'm thinking I may actually come back and mine all of that out. But first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to actually dig out some of this stuff on one side or the other. I'm not sure which way we're going to go yet. Um, but we're going to be running a generator in here, and I want to have it a little bit. I'm thinking I actually want to have it down towards the bottom of it, this. And then we'll have a switch up here that allows us to tie it all together. So what I'll probably do is dig some of this out, drop down, and then undercut this area. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. It's one of the things I want to get done today. Hello. 
Do I have... I do have... I've been making ammo for a couple of days in-game. Oh, come on. I love how they always seem to know. And... Pop. Alright, so they're fun to use. I think the hollow points uh, do a little bit better damage, but eh. We really need the hollow tips for like the irradiated zombies and the cops. But is what it is. We, we can make do with what we got, right? That's right, so let's go ahead and switch that off. Like I said, I'm really actually kind of nervous about how this is going to work. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, maybe. Two, three, four. Now, did I just, I may have just, oh, I thought I screwed myself there for a second. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and place this. Oh. All right. Now the idea is that basically we have the drawbridge here, so even if the zombies get up, they can't get to us. Um, but that does really take... Because that means basically we can't really do anything defense-wise with this. Because that's basically blocking everything from that side, so we'll really be dependent on the zombies just basically getting over here. Uh, so what we may do is I may need to build some uh, some kind of facing on that on the outer wall there the west oh excuse me hiccups on that west facing wall and I may end up doing something with like the stairs or something like that so basically when the zombies get here they hit it at an angle and it forces them around it so they're not as likely to uh, go through the wall and get into the base. But for now, it works. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rethink this. Because the, the idea has always been that this thing would be here. Um, but I think that it might be better served by having, like if we had moved this entire thing back a little bit. Oh well. We'll chalk it up to a rounding error. It happens. All right. So now let's get in here. What we're going to do is we're going to try and dig out this little area here. why I'm digging out this area. Oh, I'm hoping this works. Yes, it did. Whew. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually come back and backfill all of this with uh, reinforced concrete at some point. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to dig the... Let's go ahead and take that out. And we're going to dig you down one more block. Now comes the fun part. Um, I'm probably going to replace, I'll probably end up having to replace all three of these sections. You know what? I don't have mechanical kits, so hopefully we'll have enough endurance on this to actually uh, make it all the way down. What I will probably do, because I know the auger is a bit louder than it needs to be, um, and this is kind of boring to watch, but I think I'm going to be going to another quick cut right here while we finish digging all of this out. And once it's done, I will bring you right. See you in a bit. And we are back. So, we've gone ahead and done a little bit of work here. We want to place our generator. We added some motors in there. We've got our first switch in, and we've got our uh, battery bank. Now, I'm thinking 
with the battery bank, what I may end up doing is using this and running it up the line as well. And then that way what we'll be able to do is have electric lights or something like a, uh, say, I'm thinking about running it with a sensor at the top so that the sensor will control some things that are specifically to only zombie defense or actually um you know what i might do is we've been trying to figure out a way to make this work where we could have something here that lets people know at the top whether or not this is clear and basically what i'm thinking about doing is having it set up with a light at the top that if that light is on that tells you that there's somebody standing here so if we're going to do that what we'll need to do is have basically a uh, a sensor that's looking down here. Uh, we can't use the, the what's it called, the um, pressure plate, because the pressure plate is a solid object. When you land on it, you will die. The hay bales will allow you to not die when you fall from that height. So what I'm thinking is, is we'll go ahead and make a sensor, uh, which is one of the reasons why I have this whole thing set up over here, so that we can power all of that. And what we'll do is we'll have the switch here tied to another set of relays that go up this side. So we'll have one set on this side and the one side, one set on this side. And uh, like I said, when we get up there, we'll deal with getting the rest of it sorted. I'll probably have to dig out a, at least one block of the reinforced concrete that's already up there. <sighs> but yeah, you do what you got to do, right? All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these. We are going to swap that out and we are going to basically just, uh, you know what? I am going to have to dig out this entire section here. Uh, all right. Yeah, we got an airdrop. Uh, so let me get back up there, dig out this section and we'll continue on from there. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dig out that section because I'm gonna need to be able to nerd pull up in order to place these and get them tied into each other. <sighs> All right, we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And so now what we're gonna do is this is going to take us a little bit of finagling because we're going to have to go basically one, two, three. I'm trying to remember just how far up we can take this. So we can get up to here. So if we go two, three, four, five. We should be able to do this. All right. And we're basically going to continue this all the way up. <sighs> all right. Let me make sure that that's two, three, four, five. Now we should be able to go from here. there all right okay so this is going to go that'll work that'll, that'll work nicely um what i need to do though is that gonna work so that'll go there so yes that will work so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to put a sensor in down here first things first Oh, where is my electrical? Looking for the switches. Electrical basics. Switches and triggers. Do I have the points for it? I do. So we want motion sensors. We now have motion sensors. How many points? That's 15 for the auto turrets, but we're not going to worry about those for right now. All right. So let's go make a motion sensor really quickly I should have everything I need for it I hope I have everything I need for it down here show you the uh, the entrance way 
from our horde base over to the rest of the, the community center. Always fun stuff to see, right? <laughs> so hopefully everyone's having a fantastic week so far. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. And uh, yeah, we've been just playing a lot on the community server. Trying to get all of this stuff done as in a uh, timely manner as possible. Like I said, you will be able to see some of like the horde base build itself. Um, on the channel, I'm thinking I'm going to put this one out in the afternoon and I'll do the other one in the morning. Uh, it might be plastic as well, I don't know. Let's see here. I don't remember off the top of my head. Alright, so no plastic. Basically everything but plastic. Easy enough. Oh, Shades made the paper rack. Nice. I know she was saying that uh, she had forgotten that the paper rack required plate glass, so she had to. I think she had ended up having to make some uh, some glass for it. And uh, you go there. All right. Pass through triggering. And that's actually what we're going to be working on a little bit here. So we're going to go here. We're going to go. Did I not pick up? Did I not pick up the motion sensor? Hmm. It's been one of those days. No, I picked it up. I must have put it in there. Yep. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? Yes. So uh, the folks on the server have actually been really, really productive. We've gotten a bunch of people on and off the server. So you may actually see other people recording. Uh, folks like Copco, Red, Redaboo, and anyone else we have that's over here. Shades isn't really recording. Sharky and CJ aren't really recording. Yeah, so just Copco and uh, Redaboo are the most likely you're going to see. Redaboo does some streaming stuff over on Twitch. So if you're over on the Twitch side of the house, look her up over there. Um, does really good she's just fun people to hang out with so it's good to have her on the server really enjoying having her around so okay so what we're gonna do is it's too bad I can't disconnect that one all right so what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go up there disconnect it we're gonna go hmm you know what Go ahead and do this. We have the we have the material. We may as well do it, right? Because it's gonna have to be done at some point anyway. Let's go ahead and take this stuff out. One. Two. <laughs> now we're gonna do that. And we're going to have it come off of the battery bank to there. And then this is going to go from here up to there, right? I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Hmm. Let's see if we can... I might need to install a couple of ladders here. Can I reach... All right, so we might have to do a little bit of a little bit of finagling work here. Okay. All right, we're gonna be well. We should be able to do it from there. So we go from here. You know, if you didn't have to connect this crap in a series, there we go. All right, so it goes from here to the sensor. And up. and then from here, what we're going to do is basically the same thing we did before. We're just going to nerd pole up, connect this one to the next one, rinse and repeat. And I'll probably, as I come back down, I'll probably backfill all of this crap to keep people from uh, splicing into the line. Because I really don't want folks destroying what we're working on here. So what was that? Oh. Went a little too far here. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that should be far enough up for me to do. 
So we're gonna go here, make it a little easier to do this. Let's go there. And one more, see if that's close enough. Is that close enough for me to get it is the question. All right. <sighs> so yeah, basically that's this is what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna just gonna have to, you know, let's do it this way. Basically, just gonna have to keep doing this until we get the uh, the whole thing in. Let's see here. Is that gonna be? So I need to go up one frame. So I went one frame too far down. Looks like. <sighs> really? Hmm. So if I do that, you know what I might need to do? This might work. Let's go. Hmm. Do that, do that. <sighs> See the things we do to make this stuff look good, right? Apparently that was close enough. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. So we know how we're going to do this all the way up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's going to take me a while to get all this crap sorted. So I'll bring you back as soon as we're done, and I'll show you what we've got going on once it's all done. <laughs> See you in a bit. All right. And we're back. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, so we've gone ahead. We've gotten both sides wired up we have gotten most of the cement in so we went ahead and fixed the one problem that I had with the uh, the drop down as well we're almost dead from starvation <laughs> oh it's been yeah it's been a long long day okay so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and finish this up get the last few of these in here because we really shouldn't need to change anything in there, hopefully. Um, if we do, I'll come back and drill it all out. <laughs> but I'm not planning on it. Oh, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. All right, so, you know, I'm just gonna throw the extra crap in here for now. Uh, that stuff needs to go back into the other chest. Now, if we, fuel this up we turn it on we're only putting out 19 watts right all right so the reason we're turning that on is so we can set this up since it's got power we can tell it to do what we want so we're gonna have it sit here because we want it to only really look at um, the pad itself so we wanted to look at allies and strangers as well as self. We want this to be a five second delay. I think. All right, so now, as long as somebody is standing anywhere around here, there should be a light up there. Um, let's see if we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it from down here or not. Let's see. Can we see it? No, we'll have to get somebody to test it. But in theory, it, what it should be doing is now that this thing is going on, um, it should actually be a light upstairs. Let's see here. I mean, in theory, if this thing gets us up there fast enough, we might actually... Yeah, there you go. And it should eventually go out, I think, or maybe I have to set that duration. Um, 
but yeah, as you can see, we've got a bunch of lights up here that we've wired in so we can turn those on and we'll have some light in this place. And yeah, I'm gonna have to set the duration. So I want it to be instant when it turns on, but I wanna have a duration. Okay, so this needs to be instant. And we'll set it for right now, we'll set it for like 10 seconds. So it should be picking us up. Does it pick us up here? Let's see. So yes, it does pick us up there. All right, so hopefully, barring this elevator continuing, continuing to take too long to get us up there. All right, so I'm gonna have, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have to get some people on here to test this to make sure, but it should, in theory, when somebody's standing down there, it should light up up here, and this will stay lit for upwards of, you know, however many seconds. Uh, and then we'll have a little sign here that says, you know, if the light's on, somebody's in the landing zone. That way you know before you drop down. So that way, if you've got a thing where a bunch of people need to get out of here, or when at, after the raid is done, people want to get out of here quickly, that's going to be probably the easy way to, easiest way to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. Not. Because I want to get this framed in. But with that said, I think that's going to do it for us today. This has been a much longer than wanted episode. <laughs> it's not, it was not meant to be this much stuff today. So I want to thank you all for stopping in. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, uh, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, always feel free to throw them down in the section below the video. I will always do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. I do sometimes fail and I do apologize in advance if I don't get back to you right away. It's nothing personal and not intentional. It's just I ran out of time. And as I am out of time, I'm out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we will see you back here next time for more 7 Days to Die Valmod. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Hmm, I may have to uh, go back and light up part of this episode now. <laughs> Whoa!